Good morning, everyone. I'm recording this now on the uh, actual Feast of the Immaculate Conception. What a wondrous thing, Mary. What work, wondrous works the Lord has worked in her. And through her cooperation, through her willingness to live on and on as someone who's very, very, very simple. In other words, her patience. The Lord finally chooses, stops her in her tracks, and makes her the mother of God coming into this world. Rejoice in the work of the Lord. We rejoice in Mary. And all those uh, who the Lord has worked wondrous things in. We give glory to God. Mary gives glory to God by each day living in the Lord's strength. May we do likewise. This Sunday is the third Sunday of Advent. The first reading, Isaiah 35, verses 1 to 6a, and then 10, verse 10. This Sunday is called Galdete, or Joy Sunday. Isaiah, and certainly that's reflected in this first reading. Isaiah is writing here of the reaction of the Hebrews as they return from captivity to their homeland. First, there is immeasurable joy and happiness to once again come into possession of their homeland. Here is a people who had nothing well in captivity in, in Babylonia, but now have everything because the Lord supplies. To those who are feeble, weak, frightened, blind, deaf, lame, or mute, the Lord supplies for what they lack. Here is your God. He comes to you to save you. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. In the Gospel reading, chapter 12, I'm sorry, chapter 11, verses 2 to 11, when John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of, of the Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with the question, Are you the one who is to come? Or should we look for another? This is a rather strange question to come from the one who is to announce the coming of the Messiah as to whether Jesus is the Messiah or not. John is at least doubtful that Jesus is the Messiah. Scholars write that perhaps John was looking for someone who would be like himself, a voice crying out in the wilderness. In other words, Jesus did not meek did not meet John's expectations for what a Messiah would be like. Jesus sends the disciples back with a message that he has worked wondrous things that bear witness to his being the Messiah. Then Jesus immediately says, And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The last thing that Jesus says in this gospel reading is, Yet in the kingdom of God, Yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he, than John the Baptist. In the second reading, James's letter, chapter 5, verses 7 to 10. Be patient, brothers and sisters. During the coming of the Lord, patience or long-suffering is learning to wait on the will of the Lord. We all like to get things done and move on. But it is the Lord's way and not our own. That's really, that really matters. Everything in his good time, not ours. Mary says in the gospel of the Immaculate Conception, may thy will be done. Endurance through suffering of whatever type helps us to grow in holiness. The Lord's way and not my own. Make your hearts firm, it says. This reading is insistent, the second reading, is insistent on the anticipation of the nearest of the second coming, the nearness of the second coming. Know that he is near. Be patient, as our suffering forefathers were in their suffering. May the dear Lord help us to simply live in God's working of working things out rather than our own lack of patience and desire to forge ahead.
God always first. God in everything. 